It's an automated fingerprint identification system. So that when a person is booked in at SPD or at the sheriff's office, their prints are taken and their identity is immediately known. During that time, I have given jury instructions, which require a reading, an understanding, an interpretation, and an explanation of the laws to juries. Those are the sort of skills that a good district attorney needs. During that time, I have discharged faithfully the fiduciary duties that I have over public funds. That's the sort of experience a district attorney needs. During that time, I have reviewed thousands of warrants. As you know, a judge has a key to everyone's home and business. <laughs> but that power needs to be exercised carefully. And I have done so. In reviewing warrants, you have to check for the four corners of the requirements of the warrant. It's not what is said by the investigating officer. It's not what is reported in the press that is important. What is important in a warrant is what's contained in the four corners that is sworn on every occasion, every time, even for the smallest forfeiture. I have that experience, ladies and gentlemen. When I tell you that I have experience in reviewing warrants, I know what I'm talking about. When I tell you that I have the experience of understanding, interpreting, and applying the law, I know what I'm talking about. I've worked with the SPD, and with the Sheriff's Office, and with the State Police, and with the federal authorities on hundreds of different cases. In addition to handling the regular civil docket that I've had during the course of these years. And I've learned about the trial of cases. And I know what lawyers can do, the good that they can do. I know the things that they can do to make jurors and judges think. I know how judges think. Most of the arguments that a district attorney is going to be making is not to juries, although that's a large part of it, but it's made to judges. I've done a good job for you as a district judge, and I will do a good job as district attorney. I've attended the crime focus meetings at SPD and listened as Chief Whitehorn would listen to the assistant chiefs, the captains and lieutenants explain about the area concept that he has started. My history with Chief Whitehorn goes back to way before he became Chief of Police. It goes back to before he was Commander of the State Police. It goes back to when he was fighting drug cases on the street. My experience with, with Steve Prater, the Sheriff of Caddo Parish, goes back equally as far. I have an excellent working relationship with the Clerk of Courts Office. I have an excellent working relationship with the Parish Commission, with the School Board, with the Sheriff, with the, with the City Police, and with every public agency that the courts have come in contact with. I will be a leader for the District Attorney's Office. One of the things that I intend to do is to invoke a VOTE principle, V-O-T-E, Violent Offenders Target Effort. I'm not talking about casting a ballot type of vote. I'm talking about casting a net. And this net will be designed to actively pursue the prosecution and trial of violent offenders. And the way I would implement that is to take seasoned prosecutors who will have no other obligation, no supervisory obligation, only the obligation to target these violent offenders. If Shreveport and Caddo Parish, which is poised to take off in the next 10 years, if Shreveport and Caddo Parish is going to realize its potential, we have to address the quality of life issues. The District Attorney's Office is integral in doing that. It is very important in working with the business community. I propose a partnership with not only with the Chamber of Commerce, but with all of the business entities in Caddo Parish. We have to take care of business. Businesses employ persons. 
If Caddo is going to take off, we need to recognize that we have a medical center community here. But if we're going to, to expect retirees to locate in Shreveport and Caddo Parish, we have got to do something about this quality of life, and we will. When I tell you that I know about operating a public body and to discharging the duties, I know what I'm talking about. I've met with Todd Toma, the coroner elect for Caddo Parish, and I've met with the sheriff and with others, including the law enforcement agencies, and I support and endorse a regional forensic facility. I support and endorse the idea of a victim impact panel for DWI persons who are convicted so that they can see firsthand the damage that they have caused. <clears throat> I pledge to you that I will actively and aggressively be involved in the management of the office. You talk to the people who work in the courthouse that get here early. And you talk to those who either stay late or come to work on the evening shift and find out who's been coming to work early and who stays late and who works in the meantime. And I'm comfortable with what you're going to find out. What you're going to find out, ladies and gentlemen, is that I know what I'm talking about. That I've been here. When I'm away from this place, I miss it. I pledge to you that when the appointed day comes in January, and I raise my hand and I take the oath that I will faithfully and impartially discharge and perform the duties of District Attorney of Caddo Parish. You'll be satisfied that I know what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen, and I look forward to serving you as District Attorney. Thank you very much.